there's a guy named Bert Kreischer. Yeah, I know Bert. He's Why? gonna be so excited that you know who he is. I, and and I, he came to my attention a couple of years ago uh, because he's not wearing a shirt. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, <clears throat> oh, it, I must have come in halfway through the show, and he auctioned <laughs> his shirt off uh, or something. But now, uh, subsequently, he's always without a shirt. And I've asked people who should know wh wh what's that all about. He's like a part. He likes. He's the literally the life of the party. He's like, he love. it's remember like Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> He's yes. like Spuds McKenzie. But, but on, honestly, but he can write Neil, would you go to a party if you knew guys were going to have their shirts off? I mean, I wouldn't, but that's <laughs> not, but I had to do a show about what's wrong with me. Yeah. So I, it's not. He's bur the, that party element. People love partying, but but, but 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 he will put his shirt on one day. Well, you know, he's got the showbiz thing where he's like, "Do they only like me because I don't wear my shirt?" He's got his own dumb no. self doubt. No, is that true? Swear to God, <laughs> yeah, it's show business. <laughs> so he he is completely invested in his own hook, and without that, he well now he's like, "Do they? Act, am I actually funny?" He's got a movie coming out, and he wears a shirt through most of it. And I'm sure he's like, "Are they going to hate me for wearing a shirt?" This is revelatory. I I'm thank you. That story is delightful. <laughs> that story is delightful because in my mind, I'm thinking, "I'm the best looking guy in here without a shirt," you know. But that's no, not it at all. He's a big. He's got a big fat stomach. Yeah, he's in horrible shape. But he's he, got a big fat. If he's in good shape, he can't take a shirt off. Right. So, then it's not funny. So he would think that if you put a shirt on, people would stop going to see him? Uh, yes. <laughs> of course. People are just the best, yeah, aren't we're they? Like, we will defeat ourselves. Yeah, that's Does right. Does not matter. No, I, th I think you're right. I think uh, hum humanity is its own worst enemy and comes up with new and crazy ways to prove that each and every day. I'm tempted to call Bert. I'm going to call Bert because he'll he will absolutely uh, love this that you know who he is and, and, and are questioning. Now what, what are the chances that you're actually going to get him on the phone? I don't, well, I think pretty good. Where, where does he live? He lives, he has two houses. <laughs> In fact, this is how well the shirt thing's going. They just bought a third. Wow. So yeah, that's Bert. That's well, see, this represents what I know about comedy in this generation. The industry of it, the commerce of it, is so far more than it was when I started. The, there was a list of what comics made last year. Want to guess what he made on the road? Well, I, I have no idea. $25 uh, so, million. Dollars. I'm sorry, how many? $25 million. Bert did. Yes. Oh, my God. Good for him. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get him on the phone. Let's see what this could. This is like a radio contest. Oh. Do you weird. want to leave a message for him? Yeah. Press one for more options. Hi, Bert. Uh, it's Neil Brennan and uh, Dave Letterman, and we're talking about you and uh, the fact you don't wear a shirt. Uh, and I was delighted and pleased to know two things. One, that you think without the shirt or without without the shirt, people wouldn't like you. And also, last year on the road, you made $25 million. <laughs> So all my best and congratulations. Great. Got that knocked out. Yep. Um. 